Greetings and salutations my dearest friends. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a throwback video. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video but kind of like make it a bookish edition because I have a lot of different bookish items in here. So yeah we're going to throw it back and I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag. Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I saw a couple people recently do like a what's in my bag video and it just gave me such nostalgia. I remember like the mid-2000s, 2015, 2016 when like the beauty gurus, the beauty influencers were really having their moment on YouTube. What's in my bag? That was like my favorite video to watch because I'm so freaking nosy. What do you have in there? Okay, what are your favorite snacks? What are your favorite lip products? I... I I'm nosy and I want to know. I actually just watched Oh It's In My Bag video, which is what inspired this video. Jessica Braun did one. It's like lifestyle vlogs and makeup and all that good stuff. And I was just having so much fun watching that video. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a What's In My Bag bookish edition. I know you guys are nosy like me. I know you are. I know you are. Whenever I'm sitting in this chair, it means I'm in a chatty mood. And that's, that's how I am today. So let's get into it. That was the longest intro ever. This is the bag in question, okay? Nothing special. I am not a designer purse girly. I never have been. Um, just because I'm like a little gremlin who just like throws my bag every which way in the car. So yeah, not a designer purse girly. A lot of times I will just use a crossbody if I'm like running errands. But this is the bag I will kind of like bring to work. I have not even looked in this bag. It's probably a mess. I could probably clear it out right now. I went to work yesterday. So this is everything that I felt like I needed to go to work and yeah so it's just this plain kind of corduroy black bag i'm not gonna lie to you guys i saw this on a tiktok ad this was called like the everything bag people were fit in fit in everything in these bags this is the small version and i believe my sister actually got it off amazon not tiktok shop i can find the link i'll link it and i have like this cute little plushie on the side so nothing fancy like i said if i'm not headed to work and i'm just running errands i'll just bring a crossbody like this that will hold my phone my wallet my keys my Kindle. I don't I don't go anywhere without my Kindle, which you will see right now. Right, all right, so we're just going to dive in, besties. We're just gonna go in. So the first thing we spot, I don't know what that exit is, excuse me. I'm just gonna stop right now before I embarrass myself. Um, the first thing I see is my work lanyard. So this is my work badge, very boring. But the lanyard is really cute. It's just strawberries and yeah, I put it on the lanyard because I'm constantly using my work badge and I like need it to get into the building or whatever. Ah, uh, yes, 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 we have chocolate covered almonds emergency rations this is okay i will always have something sweet in my bag i'm the type of person who why am i holding it like this <laughs> Cute. I am the type of person who eats my dessert first. I'm the type of person that always craves something sweet. So yeah, I always have candy in my bag. And I guess yesterday I had dark chocolate almonds. So this bag seems small. I could fit a lot of stuff in here, okay? So I also have the book that I was reading. I don't always carry a physical book with me, especially because usually I am reading like audiobooks or ebooks. But this is what I'm currently reading. It's Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I brought this to work yesterday because I was reading it on my lunch break. Typically, if I'm going to bring a physical book with me anywhere, I will try to throw it in a book sleeve so it doesn't get damaged but clearly I did not care about that with this book and it's fine it's fine I was also annotating this book so I have my little annotating tabs that were just inside the book I current read right now guys and I'm loving it oh my god I'm loving it never ever once did I think that I was gonna say I like a Brandy Sandy book who am I what is going on um, I fear the Fantasy Bros really may have cooked with this one, okay? This is really off-brand for me because I mainly read, like, cozy mysteries and romances. And the romances I typically tend to lean into are, like, the wild and bonkers and crazy ones. But, yeah, I'm loving this fantasy book by Brandy Sandy. I love how this is a What's in My Bag video and I'm just giving you the synopsis of this book. But it's still a bookish channel, okay? The way this was described to me was it was kind of inspired by Princess Bride, almost like a gender bent princess bride reimagining i've never seen that movie or read that book so that reference goes right over my head though i am certain everyone has watched or read princess bride uh if you haven't you could totally dive into this book it basically follows tress who lives on an island that is surrounded by an emerald sea hence the title the sea is filled with dangerous spores that kind of operate in gusts of air but if they are exposed to liquid of any kind water bodily fluids literally a drop of liquid 
they explode. They're very dangerous, okay? So nobody leaves the island. In fact, it's actually forbidden for people to leave the island. Her main character, Tress, comes from a working family. She works at the Duke's castle. And that is where she meets her best friend, Charlie, who is actually the Duke's son. Something happens where Charlie is sent to travel in the Emerald Seas, which is really dangerous. And this book starts off with Tress kind of embarking on this journey to go save the love of her life, her best friend, Charlie. It does have like a little bit of a romance, but it is more of a fantasy adventure book and it is wonderful and so so funny the writing is hilarious i went on a whole rant on this book i'll show you the rest of my stuff right now but i was really having a moment with this book because never ever ever did i think i would like a brandon sanderson book i literally messaged my, all my friends and i was like what what is happening right now moving on moving forward i will have a reading vlog on that book by the way but that's the last time i talk about it anyways Next up, we have my emotional support Kindle. I quite literally never, ever, ever will leave the house without my Kindle. It's not happening, okay, bestie? What am I supposed to read in lines? What am I supposed to read on my lunch break? What am I supposed to pop out when I'm feeling sad? It's an emotional support Kindle. I will read, I will read the Kindle app on my phone if I have to, but I always have a Kindle with me. This strawberry book sleeve, I think this was a gift from Victoria, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think she got this for me for Christmas. It's from a brand called Bookish Bling, but it's just a strawberry bookcase. And inside I have my Kindle. Those are all of my bookish stickers that I have. I still have a little ghost from Halloween and I have not switched out these stickers from Halloween just because I love them and I don't want to change them. So not very seasonal appropriate, but I love it. And this is just a clear pop socket that I got from Amazon. This is the Kindle Oasis, which is slightly bigger than the Paperwhite and also has buttons for the page turner. I have the Paperwhite, the Oasis, the Scribe. I also read on my phone sometimes. I also read on my iPad sometimes. So I am definitely an e-reader girly. Typically I'll travel with my Paperwhite because it's slimmer, but I always prefer my Oasis because it has the buttons to turn in the pages and that makes a difference. That makes a difference. I keep saying I'm going to do a video comparing all the e-readers that I have, which I will do. Just so you guys know, if I'm traveling or like holding the Kindle, I prefer the Oasis because it does have the page turner buttons. If I'm home and I'm comfy just reading in bed, I actually prefer the Scribe because the screen is much bigger and I can annotate. I freaking, I freaking love my Scribe. Of course I have my wallet, which just has my ID and my cards in it. I've always been someone who has a really small wallet i don't like chunky ones so that's just a strawberry one that i got off amazon what else is in here some my doll always and forever endometriosis girlies unite floating cramps nausea all the beautiful wonderful things that comes with endometriosis i always have my doll always oh my god oh my god i forgot i have this in my purse <laughs> okay so this is not usually in my purse but my co-worker actually gifted this to me I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna have to do a close up so you guys can see. Oh my freaking god. This is hilarious. This is hilarious that I have this in here. It is a bookmark, a magnetic bookmark of Dean Winchester from Supernatural. And it says, baby, be a good girl and read your book. Coworker got this for me as a gift because if you know anything about me, you know I'm a reader, I love to read. And also I am obsessed with Supernatural. It is quite literally the best show that has ever existed, I'm sorry. I, I don't make the rules, that is actually a fact. I am obsessed with Supernatural. It's one of the only shows that I've ever finished. I'm not a TV show person. I don't even have a television in my room. Like, I never watch TV shows. Usually, I'll watch, like, one season and just get endlessly bored with it. Supernatural is one of the only shows that I've ever finished and been so engaged in that I've rewatched over and over and over again. I've watched season five, like, seven times. I'm absolutely a Dean girly. Absolutely. If you're a Sam girly, I just, I can't relate to you. I can't. I just why how you need therapy bestie no i'm sorry if you are a sam girly like if you're a supernatural fan and you like sam winchester why like i'm actually curious i have my glasses in here these are actually blue light glasses i do get questions on these sometimes when i wear them in videos i don't need glasses my vision is fine but i do wear blue light glasses because i'm working on a computer literally for eight hours a day I get headaches from staring at the screen too long or sometimes like artificial lighting will just it will do my head in so i wear my blue light glasses these are clear ones that i got from amazon i'll try to link them down below for you i do have an amazon storefront i do earn like a small commission from it if you guys if you guys want to you know click on that link um but i will have the Glasses linked down below. I can't talk. They're clear because they match with everything, but they have a bunch of different colors. They have like green, black, tortoise, etc., etc. So love these. Another pair of my blue light glasses. This is just a different shape, also from Amazon. I don't, I don't know why I had both pairs in here, but yeah, another pair of blue light glasses. 
I have another pair of glasses in here. Why do I have so many glasses in here? These are sunglasses, not blue light glasses. I actually just got these, and the second I put them on, I felt like a bad bitch. I'm gonna be so freaking real with you. When I put these on, I was like, oh. Oh, I was definitely feeling the shape of these. I used to be a designer girly when it came to sunglasses. My very first job ever, ever, ever was when I was like 17 and I used to work at a sunglass hut inside of a Macy's. And then obviously because I worked there, I got a lot of sunglasses either on a discount or for free. So I used to be a sunglass girly, but now again, I'm just a gremlin and I kind of just throw my sunglasses in the bag. So I lose them and scratch them very easily. So these are just off of Amazon and I love, love this design. First, I have my AirPods to listen to my audiobooks at work because how would I survive? This is a strawberry case from the Zon, the house of Bezos. This sounds like an ad at this point. I knew there was going to be a lot of lippies in here. Okay, I am always wearing a lip gloss or lip balm, and I just throw them in my bag. So I knew there was going to be a lot. Um, let's let's get into it. First one is the e.l.f. lip balm. This is the Squeeze Me lip balm, and I think their strawberry scent. Yeah, strawberry. Smells divine. It kind of smells like strawberry and vanilla, and it's really moisturizing. I absolutely love these. You can get them at Target for like $4. Aquaphor lip balm. I do like this e.l.f. one, but I will always choose Aquaphor first because it's just so moisturizing, inexpensive, easy. I love it. I have a MAC lipstick in my purse. So this is in the shade Thanks It's MAC. Oh, this one is my favorite. Oh, man. It is just absolutely like... I'm gonna do the beauty guru thing. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? It's a nub. There's like no product left in here. I wear this so much. This is one of my favorite nudes because it's like a pinky nude that's a little bit more neutral. Barely could see it on my hand, but it is so freaking pretty. I have a MAC lip gloss in here. This is the lip gloss in the shade Nymphette. This is a pink lip gloss with like slight gold shimmer. You can't really see the color like on the back of my hand, but it is really pretty. I was wearing this lip gloss on top of that lipstick yesterday so that's probably why they're in here. And lastly I have this small case and this is like my in case of emergency case. Okay this is like my stranded on a desert island. These are all of my essentials like what I feel like I would need anywhere I go. So if I switch bags I always grab this because I feel like it has everything I need. And to be honest it's busting out the seams and I don't really know what's in here at this point. So let's find out together. Guys I have a I have another pair of sunglasses. What the hell? I have these in black, but I think those are in my car. But this is the tortoise color, the tortoise shell color. Do you like these? I do. They get the job done. However, I go back and forth with this style if I like it. Like some days I love it on me, and then other days I hate it because it looks like I'm literally about to ask you for your license and registration. But they're they're cute sometimes. I have a pair of socks in here. And that might sound weird, but I, I'm weird. And I have this thing where I actually cannot stand the feeling of life without socks. That sounds so weird, but I am never barefoot. You will never ever catch me barefoot. And if I am, I'm so deeply uncomfortable. I have these in my bag because sometimes I'm wearing like flats or loafers, like dress shoes at work. Don't really like the socks that are meant for that, that have like the no-show on them. I am wearing flats or loafers to work. As soon as I clock out and get in my car, the socks are going on. Camera died, which means I've been talking for a really long time. But I'm still going to talk because I'm having a ball, okay? I'm having so much fun talking to you guys. Anyways, uh, I keep these socks in my bag because I have hyperhidrosis, which means I sweat profusely. It is, uh, it is quite disgusting. I actually, uh, I don't know if I should say this. Um, <laughs> you sweat a lot on your hands or your feet. You're not wearing flats. No, you're not. The squelching noise that it makes when you're sweating. Ugh. When I was younger, I did actually have a surgery because of my hyperhidrosis where they kind of like cut your sweat gland like right below your rib cage. It minimizes the sweat on your hands and your feet because like, guys, when I tell you I was so sweaty, it would literally, I would go like this and my hands would be dripping sweat. Drip all times, at all times of the day. It wasn't because I was hot. It wasn't because I was nervous, like dr dripping sweat out of my hands and my feet. So I would always have to have socks to kind of like soak up, bleh, to soak up the sweat. And then I would have an extra pair of socks um, because I would sweat that bad. So I think it's just a habit now that I carry socks everywhere. <laughs> RIP, can you imagine me going through high school? Just imagine sweaty Sam going through high school. That was such, that was such a, that was such a journey. Okay, moving on, flashbacks, traumatic flashbacks more lip products of course because 
Of course, I have to have more lip products. This one is a clear lip gloss. I feel like clear lip gloss is my superpower. I could be feeling like an absolute gremlin wearing no makeup, just rolled out of bed, and I throw on some lip gloss, clear lip gloss to be in, to be exact, I feel like a supermodel. I feel like a million bucks. This is a clear lip gloss from NK Makeup. You get them at like beauty supply stores. They're maybe $2. Another lip balm. This is from Shop Miss A. Their AOA Studio Balm Skin Rescue. This is the mint flavor. And then I have another one of the e.l.f. lip balms. This is in the vanilla scent, I think. Yeah, vanilla. Ooh, it smells like a sugar cookie. This is a reusable straw. I got this at a book signing and I thought it was cool so I threw it in my bag. Just a reusable straw. Mini hair clips which I really only use when my hair is a little bit longer to pin my bangs out of my face. Travel case of my perfume. This, what perfume is even in here? I don't know. It smells like rose. I can't remember what perfume is in here but travel size perfume. Rose is my favorite scent so I have like five perfumes that smell like rose. That's why I have no idea which one that one is. Oh my good lord. Oh my good lord. Why do I have so many pens in here? Anybody need a pen? Do you need a pen? One, two, three, four, five, six pens. And then I also have a highlighter when I annotate my books. I have some water packets because I am the literal worst, the worst at drinking water. I, I, I despise the taste of water. I truly do. It's so boring and bland. I want a fun, I want a fun drink. So this helps me drink more water. This is the Sonic Ocean Water Packets. My favorite. I have a used floss that's really fucking nasty. I have some rings in here. So that is everything that is in my emergency packet, which really like nothing in there was actually that important. All right, that is everything that I have in my bag. This was a very long video because I was just chatting with you guys. I would love to see more people do this because again, I'm so fucking nosy. I want to see what's in your bag. Do this video so I can be nosy and we can be friends. If you're like me and you always travel with your emotional support candle, give this book a, give this book what? Give this video a thumbs up. I'm so used to filming bookish videos that my brain is like so thrown off right now. If you enjoyed this video, what should we leave? What comment should we leave? You should leave a sunglass emoji. I feel like there's a sunglass emoji because we had about like 10 pairs of sunglasses in this bag, which is really unnecessary, but you know. Leave some sunglasses down below if you have stayed this long and you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Now I have to put all of this back in my purse and I'm not going to organize it. I'm just literally going to dump this all back in my purse.